Hi everyone, this is Vince from Vaughn Public Libraries. If you're looking for quick and easy ways to access thousands of online resources, you're going to love using Ubuntu. Well, what kind of resources can you access exactly? Hmm. Audiobooks? Of course! Comics and ebooks? Absolutely! How about music? Even movies and television? Thousands of them! Here to help give us a better look at this resource is my colleague Majid. To have access to Hoopla from one public library's website, uh, there are different ways. One way is just go to articles and research and uh, search under H, search for Hoopla. Another way, it's on our website, Let's go to downloads and digitals. And then under ebooks and audiobooks, you see Hoopla. Now we are on a Hoopla homepage. So click on Get Started Today. And you see there is a form. You have to fill, it, fill out this form email, email, and create a password. And after finishing that, I will agree. In the next page, uh, I will see some libraries close to my area so I will pick one public libraries and then go to the next page I should add my library card number here and my pin number here agree and then sign me up now I'm in a Hoopla page and there are different ways to customize my account. For example, I can go directly to the setting area and as you see there are some features here I can turn on or off like uh, receiving emails from Hoopla or switch to kids mode which is off here but I can turn it on or I can just click on kids here and or I can turn on or off borrowing history these are a couple of things I can customize. Also, I can go to uh, recommendations here and under each section, I can pick different genres, different categories. For example, when I wanted to watch movies, I prefer to watch, for example, mysteries or classics or horror. So I can pick these uh, recommendations and then when I go to the collection or search, most proper items will be shown to me. Or if you go to the each section on the recommendation, I will see um, most items related to the categories I already picked. Also, I can go and search for items. Uh, here, as you see, I can search for as a, as a keyword for everything or I can pick uh, different uh, types of materials, between, uh, different formats of material like movies, music, ebooks. For example, I wanted to uh, search for a job interview. So I add a job interview, you can click for job interviews and as you see there are different formats. So I can narrow down the search results by going to the sort by, for example, popularity based on the number of times they are borrowed or I can go and search uh, and sort by user rating uh, or just uh, sort them alphabetically also uh, on the left side uh, there are different uh, filters uh, for example I can narrow down the search result only based on audiobooks, not uh, uh, ebooks. And every time I can clear the filter by clicking the X. And there are other things. And for example, if there are uh, items in different languages, this is only English, but uh, there are items in different languages, so I can pick the language I want to listen or read. Uh, that was one way, I mean, using the search uh, box, the basic search box, or go to advanced search box and add more uh, criteria and factors for searching. 
Uh, another way of uh, finding an item is uh, just going to the browse section and for example I wanted to see which uh, television series uh, I want to watch uh, tonight so I go there and again there are different ways to pick for example I can search based on recommendation or popularity or just categories for example I can go here and see okay I wanted to watch classics see which classics are available here and uh, every time I can go to my hoopla and see how many items are available for this month so uh, we used to have access to five items each month but during COVID-19 it increases to uh, increase to 10 items so each month I can uh, borrow 10 items it can be a book a e book or audio book or TV series uh, an episode of a TV series or a movie and there are different times for each for some of them for example for books mostly for three weeks 21 day for movies uh, three days uh, 72 hours that kind of thing so for example if I click here to watch this Max Linder uh, I can click on borrow and it will show me uh, I have access to this for 72 hours also I can go to uh, history and see which items are already picked and then go and borrow them again to have access to Hoopla again like others go to Play Store and search for Hoopla And then install it now open the app when you open the app for the first time it's go it go to the login page but because we haven't signed up yet we have to click on sign up and then here like the desktop version you have to enter your email add email and create a password and then click next And it will ask you to find the location. And add your library card number. Um, sign up. So similar to the desktop version, you see there are different uh, section I can pick for example audiobooks movies ebooks I can click on audiobooks and then you can go to different parts recommended popular feature or genre and then pick one genre Hoopla is perfect to browse thousands of digital titles across these platforms. From comics to television, you're sure to find something that will entertain any audience member on any topic in front of you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. We're going to be creating more videos like this that can show you how apps can make your stay-at-home life so much easier. From everyone here at VPL, thanks for watching and stay safe.